Hello, good afternoon. It's a deal for Zal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for trading day 13th of July 2017, doing a mid afternoon or morning update for the European markets. And let's uh, bring up the uh, stats. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so uh, in terms of the number crunching, the uh, European markets certainly. Uh, uh, certainly doing well today, except the FTSE, and I'll certainly uh, elaborate upon that. You have the uh, FTSE up 11 points, you have the DAX up 30 points, the French CAC 34, FTSE MIB, uh, IBEX higher as well by one percentage point. So the market's certainly moving higher, but the uh, Asian market's certainly subdued. You have the Nikkei under pressure, okay, given the fact that USDJPY was lower, so Nikkei uh, flat basically overnight. The Shanghai up 20 points, up 1% on the Hang Seng as well. And that's generally due to the fact that we had Chinese data come out stronger than expected. So that certainly is helping European equities to a large extent. Japanese exports, imports certainly uh, coming in very impressive. Uh, and obviously the data trade balance certainly being helped as well to a large extent. So concerns over Chinese growth certainly negated. Okay, so bear that in mind. In terms of uh, European inflation numbers this morning, German, Italian and Spanish inflation numbers all coming in on the weaker side. Okay, and therefore that's causing the euro certainly to slide and which in turn has helped European equities remain afloat. So bear that in mind as well. Okay, so uh, CHF or Swiss, um, the inflation numbers certainly came in weaker than expected. So again, uh, easy monetary policy. Now we have had Mr. An ECB member. I uh, forgot his name now, if I just go back now. And ECB member uh, Rim Sevix says QE will continue for a few years, okay? Says inflation forecast still far from ECB goals. So it seems like the uh, central banks are doing a U-turn, which again, is very, very strange. Um, so again, central banks certainly doing a U-turn, okay? And uh, it certainly seems like they're going back into this dovish mode again after obviously attempting to flex them hawkish muscles either way it certainly has caused equities to rip higher especially the uh, the u.s markets again the uh, trump jr concerns certainly have been negated and i've totally been totally forgotten now uh, due to this uh, qe led uh, insanity okay so uh, i'm not too sure why the markets are higher from my perspective because they're certainly reducing the uh, punch ball which is a Q the uh, qe and uh, obviously rates ra raising rates will inevitably be uh, be certainly followed thereafter and therefore that's risk negative from my perspective and that should certainly still support the dollar to a large extent especially if you're removing QE okay so it seems like this is how how uh, drunk the markets are on any type of Kool-Aid or any indication of any dovish policy but nevertheless that's the status quo now let's see exactly where the markets are headed looking at the weekly chart of the German DAX you can see here previous resistance equals support certainly held uh, nicely and we bounce but it's still an inside bar so uh, bear that in mind in terms of the uh, german dax daily chart we're into that 50 percent now so you certainly have got a stellar rally from uh, 12,300 uh, up almost uh, 350 points now so it certainly is exhausted to a large extent 60 minute chart on the uh, german dax we've certainly if you take the pivot high from here take it to the pivot low here you certainly have exceeded 575 percent so very impressive to say the least okay uh, for now, basically, as a trader, all you look for is previous resistance equal support. So you have here and here, and these will be your key resistance zones. If you continue to move higher than you are looking for gap fill at 12,760, there isn't really any real catalyst as of yet for that gap to close from my perspective. So again, looking for a weakness. Okay, so German DAX certainly exhausted from my perspective and certainly looking to reverse now. Okay, you have uh, the gap open or the gap low. We gap lower than obviously we broke higher. Uh, and we certainly hit that pivot high at 12,670, so just bear that in mind. And now we're looking to potentially reverse now. You have uh, support at 12,615, and then support at 12,540, so certainly take those two on board as well, okay? In terms of the French CAC, let's look at the French CAC, folks, okay? Daily chart, the French CAC is certainly into resistance now, FIB 61%, diagonal trend line resistance, certainly into resistance, 60-minute chart, certainly pushing higher, your ultimate resistance is 5270, but 5255, this is a good level. Good level. Certainly looking for weakness here as well. Taking a pivot high to pivot low, you've certainly exceeded 575%, which has quite, been quite impressive. Uh, then after that, we look for previous resistance equal support, so nothing here. Uh, previous resistance equal support, nothing here. So really, 5270 and then obviously gap fill are your key resistance zones. Okay, that's the ones that we uh, certainly look for. In terms of the 10-minute chart, let's just bring the 10-minute chart up. You can see that we've certainly pushed higher, okay? 
certainly pushed higher here. Uh, you do have double top resistance on the French CAC at the moment. Again, like I said, I'm looking for exhaustion now, especially given the fact that, I mean, oh, yes, you do have support in terms of the euro. Uh, euro moving lower and obviously dovish comments certainly helping the eurozone to a large extent. But what's the substance? Okay, the substance really is that the European equities uh, really are lackluster to a large extent. And obviously you have concerns with regards to Mr. Macron's government as well. Just bear that in mind. Uh, his promise of labour reforms, etc., etc. certainly don't seem to be transpiring at all. Okay, so just bear that in mind. Okay, so for now, uh, there certainly seems to be an inverse relationship between the, uh, the actual... Uh, euro and uh, european equities so just bear that in mind okay so 10 minute chart you have uh, resistance here now but again 60 minute chart certainly has a possibility of uh, hitting that resistance at 5270 and closing the gap at 5300 as well so just remain open-minded if euro keeps sliding then certainly higher probability of that certainly being closed in terms of the FTSE 100 now let's just move on to the FTSE FTSE certainly is under pressure why number one sterling spike sterling spike due to mr McCafferty. okay uh, you did have uh, weaker retail sales numbers, or be or uh, the British Chambers of Commerce, okay, certainly uh, indicating weakness on the FTSE, so therefore sterling was certainly under pressure. But as soon as Mr. McCarthy came out with his hawkish comments, you can, and also given the fact that you had the situation with regards to um, the uh, Fed or Miss Yellen certainly coming in on the dovish side, that certainly has helped sterling spike as well to a large extent versus the dollar. But generally speaking, inherently, sterling spiked on the back of Mr. McCafferty's comments, and that certainly has caused the FTSE certainly to be subdued compared to, compared to its peers, even though you had stronger Chinese data. So bear that in mind. 60-minute chart, you are now looking at resistance. That resistance from yesterday certainly has held at uh, 7,440, certainly holding thus far, and therefore you are looking for a retest of FTSE at 7,385, so keep an eye on that in terms of the next potential move. Okay, moving on to the 10 minute chart on the FTSE, given the fact that we have Glaxo, Smith, Kleins concerns, weaker data from British Chambers of Commerce, and you have a hawkish, uh, sorry, a hawkish Mr. McCafferty, adding the fact that IEA data as well certainly came in on the weaker side. So, all those factors adding and weighing on the actual market itself uh, in terms of uh, growth and so on and so forth. So, you are looking for a reversal here on the FTSE, looking to potentially test that 7400 zone uh, from my perspective, looking to test that again. I think the pivot low uh, this morning has actually been 7405 before we start to reverse. So just bear that in mind, okay? Looking for that retest. Okay, uh, euro stocks, last but not least, where are we again? Again, it's a euro, it's all about the euro uh, diagonal. Trend line resistance certainly holding for now, Fib 61%. So therefore, you are looking for a reversal on European equities and therefore you're looking to move lower. So bias, bias would be bearish on euro stocks. Okay, I think that's a summation really of European equities. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, uh, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com and certainly download the latest app. Goodbye now.